Good afternoon guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install PyCharm from the JetBrains. So let's go to google.com and type download PyCharm. Okay, now I'm going to click on this link. Uh, it is www.jetbrains.com slash PyCharm slash download. Okay, and go ahead and click on download. So I already have it download on my download folder. I'm going to go ahead and open this. I click on yes. I click on next. Okay, so this is the part that's going to install the program. So go ahead and click on next. And I want to associate with .py or the Python files, right? So click on this and click on the 64-bit launcher. So it's going to create a shortcut on your desktop, yeah? And click on next. Okay, so this is going to take about five to ten minutes. I'm going to pause the video, then I'll be back. Okay, so the installation is almost complete, and I'm going to click on run PyCharm and click on finish. Okay, it's asking me that if I would like to import any settings. So I don't have any settings to import. So I'm going to select do not import settings and click on OK. OK, so this is, uh, well, a little bit important uh, because it asks you whether if you like to set up the dark uh, UI theme, if it's not the light UI theme. I select dark because the thing is I spend a lot of time on coding. So it's better off I select this. And I'm going to click on next. Okay, great. So what do I need? I need Markdown. This is for when you when you writing um, .md files, meaning um, when you pushing your code to GitHub, you want to structure everything. So that's what we need to use this tool for. So I'm going to install this, and I am going to install R language support as well. Okay, great. Then I'm going to select start using PyCharm. Great, so over here you could activate it, right? Um, if it's not, you could evaluate it. But I actually tell uh, almost most of my students to go ahead and purchase the software because it's worth it. Um, it's actually one of the best softwares out there. I'm not endorsing them, but it is indeed. They are the best. So um, it's up to you, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna evaluate it for free for 30 days. Then later on, I am going to insert my serial key. And one thing I want you to know is uh, if you're a student, um, they actually give up free software for a year. So let's say download PyCharm for students. Okay. And click on apply here. This is, uh, this is their website. This is jetbrains.com slash student and click on apply. So in order for you to um, get the software, you need to have a university email address. Uh, fill this form up and you know select your country and get the software because pretty much you could get all the all the softwares for free for one year. I think that's that's a great deal. So you should definitely do that. Um, so next video we are going to talk about the Python virtual environments, which is very important. And I'm going to show you how to set up your PyCharm and how it's going to work with your virtual environment. So I'll see you in the next lecture.